Ooh, all right. All right, game one starting. A bit of a villainous setup here. I love it. No good. Three, two, all right, as far as I'm concerned, go. neither of these characters have an advantage or disadvantage on the stage. It's PS2. It's pretty safe across the board. Although Wolf is already going in and getting some pretty quick damage. Oh, well, I mean, it didn't last long. It seems pretty even already. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> yeah, right now we're seeing these two kind of just even around. Yeah, both, oh, oh both okay. Attack chase, interesting side strategy. Yeah, I mean, both characters are just trying to go in, deal whatever damage they can. It's early. Really, though, uh, at least in Wolf's case, you don't want to give Sephiroth the advantage. At least if Wolf is up a stock, Sephiroth, I feel, can make an easy comeback because he has a comeback mechanic. Wolf, though, on the other hand, yeah, now he's got to be careful because now Sephiroth's got that one wing out. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. The anti-air down smash. That'll, that'll do it. Funny thing that jumped in the air and now... With the wing out, it looks like it looks like Bonstar is just trying to stay a set distance away, which I mean makes sense. Yeah, I mean both of them are at kill percentage. Both both of these characters in particular have uh, very fast, very good kill moves. What Sephiroth will have an advantage over range. Wolf will have an advantage in speed. So really, oh, that'll do it. Using that, using that movement speed with the wing, but now he killed him. So the wing is gone. Yeah, so Wolf is going to want to take this stock off sooner rather than later because Sephiroth still has that extra wing out. This is exactly what I feared. Uh, but if he can just keep up that pressure, he might be able to tie this up sooner than we anticipate. Bunks are doing a really good job just keeping that, let's say, a set Wolf is in the way so he can hit with that Shadow Flare. Just keeping him constantly pressured over and over again. Oh, for sure. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Wolf has to be a little careful. I understand the ambition. There you go. You just gotta make sure you space yourself accordingly. Yeah. You don't call them a spacey for nothing. <laughs> Indeed. Well, but these side specials to uh, recover, getting them punished quite a lot. There we go, that's the bread and butter. Down throw and the dash attack. Missing that down air on the platform. That perfectly spaced forward until punishing the jump, what I assume is a snare. Looks Nick like really it. approaching uh, aggressively. I'm looking out for him. Yeah, I mean, Sephir right. Sephiroth is in the lead, so it's going to make it a bit more difficult for his wing to come out. But as soon as it does come out, Wolf's going to be in a bit of trouble. So once again, Wolf is going to want to take the stock off sooner rather than later. But he, ha he has some time. He doesn't need to rush. Alright, Shadow Flare activating. He just needs to make sure, like, he might actually want to avoid doing extra chip damage. Because once Sephiroth reaches, reaches a certain percentage threshold, that's when the wing comes out. So it might actually be advantageous just to go for the heavy hits. Bumpstar really pulling out these jump-in approaches from Nick. But whether it's a down smash or the side special, Nick really needs to... Let's, he needs to rethink his approach off. Oh, okay, we're not going for side special there. Maybe. Not getting hit by the counter. Ooh! Interesting Yay. set off. Right idea, wrong spacing. I get it, though. Well, I'm not gonna exactly the eye that correctly, but... No. I, I get it, though. It happens. It's tough. He's got a big old sword. It's hard to get in sometimes. <laughs> Sephiroth's all about keeping up pressure. It's all about getting into your enemy's head. Like, he doesn't care if his attacks don't always hit. It's just about letting him know that he's dominating the field. So, uh, I don't think... I don't know Wolf's matchups all too well. I assume he's in favor of most of them. That's why he's probably such a popular character. But in terms of specifically against Sephiroth, I'm not certain. I would be inclined to believe that it's evil. But... Well... Wolf is a character that when he hits it, he hits it hard. That's true. Uh, but he is, compared to the length of the, the sword, it is a bit harder for him to get in in time, especially if the Sephiroth is just running back and throwing something out preemptively, which Bombstar has been doing quite a lot of. Yeah, the idea is that Sephiroth, when, at least when he does his uh, aerial and forward smash attacks, he wants to hit you with the middle of the sword. So spacing is as equally important for him as it is for Wolf. It's just a matter of when Sephiroth hits you with the proper part of the sword, you're probably dead. Uh, if he hits you with the wrong part of the sword, you might survive. Wolf, on the other hand, although spacing is important, usually if you get hit by his forward smash on just about any part of it, you're probably dead. So, all, th all this to say, while both characters do need to make sure they are just the right distance from each other, Sephiroth technically has an easier time landing the hit, but a, perhaps a harder time getting the kill. Most definitely oh, well. in that up air. I mean, forget what I said. Apparently, he got that kill pretty pretty swiftly. <laughs> well, after Bumstar put Nick in quite a handful of 
worrying positions. He finally got the weak up tilt to the up air there, catching Nick off guard. Yeah, I, th I think Bombstar is just getting in Nick's head. I think, uh, like Nick's trying a few different things. I commend him for that. But I think Bombstar is just is just getting all the right reads at all the right times. Oh, and with that counter there. Up and now the wings out. Getting another aggressive option. Oh boy. Yeah, he, he's at, oh, yeah, he's at a, over 100%, so I'm pretty sure any of Wolf's smash attacks will kill, but it's it's <laughs> it's it's dangerous getting in there. Wolf start landing all of these down smashes right in front of Nick, because Nick just really wants to hit him right now. <laughs> Definitely, as you said, showing a little bit of... Uh, oh my goodness. Definitely showing that Bumps are Woo! in Nick's head. He's not holding him back. Yeah, so I mean, oh, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Wolf's down, but he's not out. Yeah, I, I, it's not impossible for Nick to make this comeback. As a matter of fact, I think it's, it's very doable, especially now that Sephiroth has lost his wing. He'll get it back at around 75% or so, I think. Uh -oh. Because, oh, no, maybe later, because he's oh. up a stock, right? So maybe closer to 125%. Uh, but even so. That was a good Wolf flash right through the counter. Yeah, Wolf can, Wolf can get this. I don't know how. I, I know that... Um, one of the advantages of you being Ooh. down a stock, but Sephiroth not having his wing out yet, is that it'll come out later because the game sees it as Sephiroth being in the lead. So if he can get Sephiroth out before he gets the wing and therefore before he gets a oh. third jump, he might be able to even this up quicker than we anticipate. Uh, and bomb star. Oh, 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 did not quite get the spike. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, I mean, Bombstar is up a stock. He's not showing any fear whatsoever. He'll go for those flashy moves if he has to. Off Although, that might be costing him. Often for the straight up smash. It's not quite enough. Oh, to yeah. That'll do it. That'll do it. He's got a strong dash, man. Bombstar just, he was, he was standing away.